folks. Welcome to Fireflies Follies. I hope that you enjoy the video today. If you do, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. It really does help my channel out a lot. If you haven't subscribed yet, I hope that you will and that you'll stick around for a while. Today, I am canning turkey. Now, I am using my Presto 23 quart pressure canner and I have already got the water in, the rack in. I've checked the seals and the valves to make sure that everything is in good working order. I have my weight over here ready to go and I use the weighted, the three-piece weight or jiggler, um, petcock. So the base is five pounds and then each ring that you add to it adds five pounds and for my altitude I can at ten pounds so I have just the, the one additional ring. So I've got it handy and I have this sitting back here on nice and warm. It's it's not hot hot but it's good and warm and what I have done so far is we had Thanksgiving and I have baked my turkeys and I've cut it up into bite-sized pieces because that's the way I can it for casseroles and such and then I took the bones and I made um, close to a gallon of bone broth so that's what I'm going to be processing in I've got my jars over here to the side. I ran them through the dishwasher to sort of sanitize them. So I'm going to grab some jars and we're going to get started filling. Now, since I am not raw packing, I'm actually using smallmouth jars today. If I were raw packing this, I would definitely use wide mouth. And I can, for myself, in pints, because that gives me a cup and a half to two cups of turkey, which is what most of my recipes call for. All right. And again, I've just kind of chopped this up into bite-sized type pieces. Some's a little smaller, some's a little bigger, and I'm not packing it tight. I'm going to take it down to about a one inch headspace. And I forgot to grab my debubbler, but I have a chopstick, so we'll use it today. So I forgot to grab my debubbler out of the storage closet, but I do have a chopstick and that's what we're going to be using for debubbling today. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill each of these jars to a one inch headspace. And then I'm going to debubble. And I don't need to add any more. If, it, if I had needed to, I would top it back up to about a one inch headspace. I have my little bowl of vinegar and some paper towels. So I'm going to clean the rim. Now, there's two purposes for cleaning the rim. Once, this is, this is meat and meat is oily. So you always want to clean your rim to make sure that there's nothing on the rim that's going to prevent a seal. But the other reason, when I'm preparing my jars, I check the rims for any nicks or bumps or chips that might happen. This just gives me a second chance. When I'm cleaning this off with the wet paper towel, I can fill that rim one more time and make sure that nothing has happened in the sanitizing or in the washing that, or a nick that I missed. So all I'm going to do is put my lid on and we are not heating the lids because we are pressure canning. 
and then I'm going to go fingertip tight with the rings. So I'm going to get the rest of these jars done. And if you guys have watched, you know, because it's me, I'm going to go twice, just to be sure. I am just not having much luck with these Orchard Road lids, so I'm not going to use them for meat. I might use them for some stock or some broth later on. But I'm having a problem with them buckling on me, so I'm just not going to take a chance with my turkey. So the two that I had grabbed, I have put those both back out. Alright, I'm going to get these into the canner. And I don't think I mentioned, but my broth was hot. I, I had, or is hot. I had just strained it into those pitchers from my big stock pot and decided that it would be easier to fill the jars from the pitchers. in and now I'm going to grab my small jars because I'm going to can some for the girls as well and once I get all of that set up I will be right back okay now in in processing the pints of turkey I failed to mention that I do not add salt to mine my broth is seasoned it is seasoned very well to my liking and it imparts that little bit of salt. I don't use a lot of salt, so it imparts a little bit of salt into the turkey, and the turkey was seasoned when I baked it as well. Now, most of you who have been here before have heard me talk about my girls, and for those of you who don't, or who haven't, I have Wombaroos named Daisy and Dolly. And Wombaroos are miniature sugar gliders. So, they have a very specialized diet. They get a lot of fruit and a lot of vegetables, and they get basic proteins. Typically, I can ground turkey or ground chicken for them, but since I had a couple of big turkeys that I was going to be processing and canning, what I did was took the tenderloins, which I'm not a fan of. Um, I find, personally find them to be a little dry, no matter how well you cook them or how good of a job you do cooking them, I find them to be a little dry. So what I've done is I've taken it and I have cut it up into teeny tiny little pieces. And everything that I feed the girls gets done in peas and carrots sized pieces. So I am going to can for them. Now I'm canning in four ounce jelly jars, which I'm sure people think is strange, but keep in mind that these little critters are the size of mice. And this will last them a week when I open it. And they won't get it every week. Um, I try to alternate for them. They have their own little personalities, and if you give them something that they don't like, they have a tendency to toss it out of their cage, strangely enough. 
Now, I am not packing this in broth because, again, the broth was seasoned. I am going to be packing this in water because I don't give them any extra salt and I certainly don't give them any spices. And onions are a big no-no, and my broth had some onions and some celery in it. They do like celery. this is pet food it gets the same process I don't add any seasoning to it and again I'm putting it just in water but I'm still going to debubble and wipe the rims and take some water out of that one because I overfilled it now because these are so small I am going to a half inch headspace on these I do not tell you guys to reuse lids. Occasionally I reuse lids. This has been the year of doing things that are not necessarily the normal. I am selective in reusing my lids. Specifically, I'm going to put them on here because this is pet food. And I, these lids, a couple of these have been used. I use them for dehydrating. I seal up my dehydrated foods with reused lids. I don't use new lids for for my dehydrated food jars and for my pantry storage jars. But I figured the camera would pick up that those were marked on. So I thought I would let you know that yes, I am reusing. I am selectively reusing. And in this case, I am reusing for pet food. So, lids are all on. So typically you don't can meat in a quarter pint, but half pints and pints get processed for your pressure, which mine is 10 pounds for 75 minutes and pint and a half in quarts get processed for 90 minutes. I am processing the girl's meat, which is always, which I always can in the four ounce jelly jars. I process it right along with my pints at the pint or half pint time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this up to steam and I will let it vent for 10 minutes. Now once there is a steady stream of steam coming out of this stem, then I will vent it for 10 minutes and after 10 minutes I will put my regulator on and I will let it come up to pressure. Now when it gets up to the 10, I'm at 11 pounds by gauge or 10 pounds by weight. So when it gets up to 10, 11 pounds and my jiggler starts jiggling like it should, I will turn it down to my sweet spot, which is about medium high, and I will let this process for 75 minutes. And once it has processed for 75 minutes, I will turn the heat off. Apparently I can't talk and line things up at the same time. There we go. 
So when it's finished processing, I will shut off the heat and I will walk away. I will let it come down on its own. This button pops up when it's under pressure and it will fall when it's safe to open it again. So once that's completely finished processing and it's time to bring, take them out, I will bring you back. Hopefully you can see that. This is what you're looking for, a steady stream of steam from the vent pipe. Once you have that steady stream, start your timer for 10 minutes to vent your canner. I brought it up to steam. I let it vent for 10 minutes. I put the weight on, let it come up to pressure, and I processed for 75 minutes. Then I turned off the heat. I let it come down off of pressure, and I took the lid off, and the lid's been off for about five minutes or so. So, as you can hear, they're starting to seal. I'm going to start taking them out. So I'm going to take the grills out first. And again, I can these in the little four ounce jars because the grills don't eat a lot. They're not much bigger than mice, unless you count their little tails. And this is enough to feed them about four times. Apologize in advance for the noise. up here so you can see how they turned out. They are still just bubbling away. Can you see that? And they're continuing to seal. Now what I will do is I will let these sit here until tomorrow. They'll cool down. I won't move them around or bother them any. And tomorrow evening, in about 24 hours or so, I will come back and I will take off the rings. I'll check the seals and I'll wash the jars. I'll label them and put them in the pantry and they're good for a couple years at least. And then I have ready to go turkey anytime that I feel the need for a little turkey and stuffing or turkey soup or turkey casserole or anything else that I want turkey for. Sometimes I open it and just make turkey salad sandwiches. It's really great to have it on hand and ready to go. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share it with friends. If you haven't subscribed yet, I hope that you will and that you'll stick around for a while. If you hit the notification bell, they'll notify you when I upload a new video based on your settings. Thank you so much for watching today. Have a great day.